I'm gonna lead the performance Bronco Raptor. I'm headed down to UPR products in Lake Worth. Why do we need a catch can set up? The factory PCB system is actually flawed from the start. <laughs> Exciting day today. I'm gonna lead the performance Bronco Raptor and I uh, just left uh, our headquarters. I'm headed down to UPR Products in Lake Worth. Great uh, friends and partners of ours. Uh, so what are we doing down there with our Bronco Raptor? Well, we're gonna help them develop and test the all new catch can setup for the Bronco Raptor. We've uh, worked with uh, UPR in the past on several other new vehicles of ours to help develop uh, the catch can setups. 2020 GT500, 21 F-150, we work with them on the 2.7 liter Bronco with our first edition. So here we are today with the uh, three liter Bronco Raptor. We're gonna bring it on down. We're gonna talk to Steve a little bit about why you need a cash can uh, and also about the product itself. So uh, then they're gonna put one together. We're gonna do some testing with it. We're gonna show everything to you guys about the installation, the whole nine. And uh, you'll be able to pick these up shortly here at Lethal Performance. So let's uh, take a ride down to UPR and join us for the uh, cash can development for the Bronco Raptor. Where are we? We're at UPR, right, UPR products, products baby. Yeah, Lake Worth, Florida, UPR products. We've got the Lethal Performance Raptor right here. What are we here for? We're doing a catch can setup. We're gonna help out product testing and development with a catch can setup from UPR on our Raptor. Steve is the famous catch can man, knows all about this stuff, just like our other Bronco that we brought out here, who did a great job on a 2.7 liter, helped develop the ones for the 2.3 liter, which are great sellers and perform really well. So that's why I brought this right over. I mean, this thing's got a couple hundred miles on it. Brought it right down here. First thing we're doing, catch can setup. Biggest question we get, why do we need a catch can setup? Steve? Well, the factory PCV system is actually flawed from the start, but it's easy to fix it. So the PCV system, your PCV is gonna go from your passenger valve cover, is vacuum applied to it from your intake manifold when you're just driving around. It pulls air out of your crankcase. It's great, you need yep. that. It helps with fuel economy, helps get the crankcase clean. The bad thing is you have oil mist go with it. The oil mist coats the intake manifold, coats the valves over time. Catch can is just good preventative maintenance. Kind of like these sunglasses that yeah, Jared yeah, yeah. up with. This is good preventative maintenance for my <laughs> eyes. But uh, the catch can is actually gonna help to separate that oil out and protect your engine over the long haul. And all you gotta do is empty it once in a while. It's a really yep. easy install. It's a really easy way to maintain your vehicle. And when you're investing your hard earned dollars in something like this, you wanna make sure it's protected. Yep. You don't want oil recirculating back to that throttle body, all gunking up the intake through the intercooler and everything else. So that's what the catch can will do is capture that oil mist and uh, you can drain it too. We've got uh, several yep. different options for the catch can. So I love this stuff, guys. This, I love bringing this stuff to you. A Bronco Raptor owners, just like it, we did with our regular Bronco bring it right over here, show you guys kind of behind the scenes thing as well. We're gonna uh, start the development of the can, check out some other products that UPR makes for the Bronco and uh, see if they work on the Bronco Raptor. And uh, we'll follow up with the whole rest of the deal for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Let's do this Bronco Raptor catch can. UPR, Team Lethal, that's what's up. That's another thing, all right? I just noticed that on the only way down here, even driving back from uh, when we picked up the Bronco Raptor, that uh, that antenna, man, it's gotta go, dude. Yeah. I think you guys you guys have something for this, huh? Oh, we've got our 50 caliper. Get rid of the flop, built man. UPR antenna we can put on there. Yeah, that thing's kind of janky, man. So let's, yeah. let's do some of that too, all right? As you can see, we're making chips, developing new parts every day. Oh yeah, making chips. It's great, and this stuff is all in-house now, man, which is yep. awesome. It's great. Making, making new parts, prototyping right in-house. So we're first to market now with a lot more products like our Trackhawk Hellcat map adapters. They're already out to market. Awesome, dude. I love it, man. I love coming down here. These guys are right down the road from us, so yeah. it's very convenient for us to bring a new vehicle over, work with them on development, and uh, of course, the first guys to market it. So Absolutely. I love it. That's you guys spoil like. us, and we're, we're happy like. to work with you. You're always inspiring to get more and more content done, too. Do we want to pop the hood and just kind of look at it and give your thoughts on it? or yeah. Let's pop the hood here. Because this is the first Bronco Raptor that you've seen in person, right? Right, exactly. Uh, and similar motor to the Explorer ST with the three liter direct exactly. injection. It's, it's very similar. There's some small differences, like with the 22 STs, they don't have the blow-up valve yep. that you can put an adapter on. So we're gonna check that out, check for fit. 
Otherwise, it looks like pretty straightforward like the other Bronco engine compartments. A few differences in the hot and cold side piping, but uh, nothing that we can't handle. Looks like you guys already have your, your uh, ABS covers, covers on there. Yeah, man, look That's at that. That's awesome. Huh? Yeah, pretty sweet. And UPR, we have our washer bottle caps and billet uh, oil fill caps. We'll show you those. We're gonna make sure that they fit. Sweet. So constant development, constant moving forward with our products. Of course. So uh, as far as the, the different uh, types of catch can setups that you think we're gonna develop for this, uh, are you thinking about doing like a single can or a dual setup with a CSS, like a clean side or? Most like a CSS type type set, setup. Okay. Um, we're gonna definitely do a single valve option for the guys who want a nice easy install. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna do the dual valve option, which is something that we're gonna have to develop with as far as see where we're gonna tap into it. Um, I do see the dreaded orange fitting insert the screens oh, here. Oh yeah, you gotta get that pick out. Exactly. Everyone knows that the, one. We've got the method to get that off of there, so yep. we'll, we'll work on that. We'll videotape how to do that. Um, but it looks like the mounting location is still gonna be the same. The reason we mount it here, and some people ask, why do we have such long hoses? Hey, this is gonna be the most upfitted product since the Jeep. So I know that right now there's really not other companies that are putting anything here, mm -hmm. but we have air compressors that are going here. We have you know yep. air lockers that are going here. So we're not trying to take up space from other people's products. We're trying to make sure that this is easy to reach and as well. And everyone else's products will work around it. Exactly. And we, you know, we can't have Joe's wife, you know, who's five foot trying to reach over there for a catch can. I mean, I still struggle. It's with my right height. here. I'm a little guy. I'm, I'm exactly. like, seriously, you, give me, give me a step stool in here. So um, we're always going to try and make it easier. The hose length really doesn't make a difference. In fact, it helps the catch can sometimes. Okay. So uh, that's some one thing we'll we'll make sure we mount it here properly and get a couple of different options for your customers to choose. Yeah. And and having it here makes it really easy to actually to drain. Exactly. I mean, having it instead of having it hidden in the back on the firewall, again, you need step stool to get up there, leaning over the vehicle, having it right here makes it easy to access. Exactly. Drain the can, you know, check the can, drain the can, whatever you gotta do. Right. So. And with your, just like your other Bronco, it's gonna have the UPR exclusive quick release knob so you can remove it. The plug and play fitting so it's easy to do with no tools. Awesome. Walk away, dump it out, clean it. We just launched our how to maintain your catch can video on our YouTube I saw channel. It, man. Well done. So it just shows you how to, easy it is to clean it, put it all back together, and you're done. You can do that while you wash the truck. This this is a guy, by the way. This is a guy. I mean, he earned the name the catch can man for a reason. He knows all about it, ins and outs, and uh, no better person to be doing the catch can on the Bronco Raptor for you guys. So uh, looking forward to seeing how it comes out. I'm excited, man. Yeah, check us out on UPR products on Instagram, the catch can man on Instagram, of course, our YouTube page, and of course, Lethal Performance's YouTube page is always entertaining. Team so. Lethal in the house. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, we're back at UPR Products with a catch can, man. It seems uh, like it's crazy the fact that we dropped the truck off like two days ago. We've had a hurricane in between the time in between time. <laughs> and you wouldn't even know because it it's beautiful out. And uh, we're back here at UPR right now, and we're going to go over the catch can setup that Steve put together on here. There's two different versions, so I'll let Steve uh, talk about them and show us exactly what he did with Thor Bronco. Yeah, absolutely. And again, thanks again to Leith Performance and Jared for letting us borrow a brand new Bronco Raptor. I mean, some people haven't even seen one yet. Yeah. So here we got one. What exactly, which version of the catch can setup is on the Bronco Raptor now? Technically a little bit of both. So we're going to start off and show you what the single valve catch can looks like. So a single valve catch can, this is our UPR catch can here. And I'm going to quickly just kind of take the fittings off and show you. Plug and play. Simple. Plug and just play. Like that. Just press the buttons, let that fitting open and release. With the two button fittings, squeeze both sides and open those up to release. Really easy. No tools needed to service the catch can. We have a knob here. Grab your washer, take the catch can out. Now, this is a dual valve catch can. It's got two fittings. Let's pretend it's got a single valve on it. Again, you just open the catch can, walk away and drain it. Again, no tools needed to service your catch can if it's a UPR catch can. Lots of capacity, and it's gonna fit right down in between your AC line and your fans. Pops right back on. I love the cable though for the cap, for that screw cap. You used to not have those, yes. and I did lose one before, and it's an ingenious uh, idea to actually have that, and it makes life easy. So. I will say that was uh, invented not by me, but it was uh, by Joe because I dropped about four of these into his Hellcat. It's so. like a 10 millimeter socket, man. They, exactly. they disappear, so. so to put your, your hoses onto your catch can kit, just push it down until you hear that click. That's it, now you know it's on. So your single valve catch can has one vacuum hose going to your intake manifold vacuum port and one PCV hose going to your PCV valve on your passenger valve cover. It's a really easy install. You can imagine you saw me take the can on and off and then put the hoses on. 
it's about a five to 10 minute install. All you need is basic hand tools. In this case, we even give you the Allen wrench to adjust the top of the catch can to make it fit perfectly. That Allen wrench is also the same size for the Allen bolt that goes into the bracket here. So all you need is a 7 16 wrench. Perfect. So if you have that on your little Sears or Fisher Price toolkit, that's all you gotta have. Awesome. Now the dual valve adds a second hose and this is gonna be for when you're in boost. This check valve is closed. You now have pressure in your intake manifold. So having air being pulled into your turbocharger, this hose takes advantage of that air and keeps air moving through the catch can so you get PCV evacuation all the time. This is a more difficult install. You do have to remove the turbo inlet tube, which is a clamp here and a clamp down at the back where the turbo is. And then install a UPR quick tap. The quick tap you install by popping a hole in that rubber boot and cutting it with either a razor knife or a really sharp drill bit. Installing this tap and we even have a little clip here so it, if this nut ever tries to back off it can't back off that clip keeps it from falling and it will never fall into your turbo so you don't have to worry about that on the UPR check valves we have an arrow that's printed onto the check valves that arrow is the direction of flow the arrow is always away from the catch can towards the engine again simply clicks on very easily and just tuck your hose in. The dual valve catch can also will include a clean side separator. Clean side separator goes on your driver's side valve cover and connects to your factory clean side or crankcase vent tube that goes to your driver's side turbo inlet. We include a UPR plug and play fitting with all the instructions shown to replace your orange tamper proof fitting with a plug and play. What's awesome about that is if you have to go back to the dealership and so let's say your dealership isn't Weikert and they're not friendly with aftermarket, you can take everything off of this truck, put it back to stock, and, no one even know. and you can do it in yep. probably about 30 minutes. So the dual valve catch can is going to be your ultimate catch can for your Bronco Raptor. The single valve catch can is going to be your basic catch can for your Bronco Raptor. So basic you want to go be able to put it on and off easily mm -hmm. you want to have not a lot of hassle with install installation the basic catch can takes care of 80 percent of the problem that the pcv system would basically be um, incurring with the engine the dual valve is the ultimate takes a little more patience a little more time it's pretty much for guys like me that are going to turn the boost up and beat the crap out of it exactly or guys like you that can do the same thing so uh, why not the dual valve setup uh, is really for guys again um boost you know, if you're really going to be hard on this thing, you're going to put a, a JB4 tuner on it, aftermarket tune, something like that, make more boost than factory, definitely recommend going with the dual valve catch can setup. Exactly. Right? And when you're ordering from UPR products or Lethal Performance, there is a difference between the original or Sasquatch edition 2.7 Bronco and the Bronco Raptor 3 liter. They are different enough where the two won't mix. So you want to yep. make sure you get the right kit. Specific kit. Exactly. So when they call Lethal Performance, the guy's going to know which ones are which. If they call UPR, we're going to know which one is which. So we'll be happy to help you with that. It's so good to come down here and pave the way for the Bronco Raptor owners and community exactly. man and work with these guys. Steve the Catch Can Man is always so informative with all this stuff. And that's why I love coming down here and having work on the cars and stuff like that. Awesome. So. Besides uh, that stuff, I know you said uh, we're gonna have some pretty cool instructions available for that that special fitting um, yes. with the, the pick that you spoke about. That's why it's a little more uh, in depth installing the dual valve catch can. We'll have that for you guys on the website uh, for the product, a link there for you guys. Um, and also, I believe there's a couple other goodies We've that you might have goodies. put on here for me. So. Yeah, and, and y'all might have seen it if you're, if you're quick watching the camera. <laughs> We've got the blow-off valve adapter. The UPR blow-off valve adapter is so easy to install. Yep. We actually do include the hardware that threads directly into the factory uh, nut here. So you take out your factory hardware, put the, the spacer in here, put your blow-off valve back on, use the UPR stainless hardware to thread back in there, and that's it. It's about a five-minute install. Yeah. And now that's going to give you the, psh, the yeah. whoosh sound everybody loves when you let off the throttle with a turbo vehicle. And then, you know, we couldn't let you go with that. We got you a 50 cal antenna. Nice, yeah, we did that uh, to the uh, to our first edition. Got rid of that big old floppy thing like, in the wind and stuff and replaced with a real nice 50 cal billet antenna from UPR products. Just let you know that you're real. 
Exactly. I, uh, one thing about that, um, also on that blow-off valve adapter, since the Bronco Raptor comes from the factory with a recirculating valve, that's why you don't have that, that sound, that psh sound when you let off the throttle uh, on this vehicle from the factory is because it recirculates now. That adapter just basically is a spacer that goes pretty much in between your factory recirculating valve and the factory pipe there and that will give you that sound and it won't affect anything. It won't uh, screw with any emissions, no lights, no change in performance at all. Just going to give you that awesome psh sound exactly. that you're looking for on a turbocharged vehicle. So yep. uh, Easy performance mod, performance sound without huge bucks. Yep. You know, there are guys out there that will say, hey, just take that tube off and put a cap. Buddy, it's a Bronco Raptor. Do it. Nice yeah. billet. Nice billet piece. You know, Easy install. Anodized black. Look how good that looks. We'll definitely do a follow-up video, like a, a review on that, and draw, get some good driving videos for everyone on it. But, Absolutely. Uh, can't thank you enough, Steve. UPR Products, always a great partner of Lethal Performance. Absolutely. And hopefully all of our Bronco Raptor fans out there and owners uh, enjoy the video. And uh, you guys have any questions regarding any of these products, feel free to reach out to us. Lethal Performance, give Steve over here a, a shout at UPR, the Catch Cam Man. Yep. And, uh, On Instagram, the Catch Cam Man, also UPRproducts.com. So if you have any questions or if you want to share pictures of your install, go ahead and do it. Of course, Lethal Performance on Instagram, TikTok. Twitter, exactly everywhere else. at Teen Lethal in the house, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Mustang King, Bronco King, Catch Can Man. Thanks, brother. And we're out of here. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.